While we wait for a COVID-19 vaccine, take advantage of a vaccine that's already here. A flu shot is more important than ever this year so that hospitals don't get overwhelmed with sick patients when flu season starts. Just about everyone over six months old should get vaccinated. Progress to report involving two of the experimental vaccines for COVID-19. They've each reached a critical milestone, one by the numbers and one in beginning testing in a brand new age group. Here's a closer look at what it all means. I have to say I'm, I'm really excited and thrilled that we are on the verge of knowing in the next few weeks whether these vaccines work. Moderna, the first company to start U.S. clinical trials of a COVID-19 vaccine, has reached its target of enrolling 30,000 participants. All of the volunteers have received their first shot of either the vaccine or a placebo, and most have received the second shot, too. Moderna has made efforts to recruit participants from hard-hit minority groups, including Terrence Stroman. This is a very serious um, pandemic. Um, it's killing a lot of people. It's hurting a lot of people. And some of us got to participate. Moderna's president says the company is on track to apply to the FDA for an emergency use authorization in early December, quote, if all the stars align. That includes meeting or exceeding the requirements to measure safety and effectiveness. Meanwhile, Pfizer is hitting its own milestone, beginning testing of its COVID vaccine in 100 children ages 12 to 15. 12-year-old Abhinav just got his first of two doses, his father also participating in the trial. I can help like a lot of people and kids so that I can tell them like how it's actually like. And Moderna and Pfizer are the farthest along in their research, but there are currently nine vaccines in various phases of clinical trials in the U.S. Two other late stage trials by Johnson & Johnson and AstraZeneca have been on hold while investigators reviewed what caused a participant to fall ill. The chief advisor for Operation Warp Speed said those trials should be able to resume soon.